Hey guys, what's going on today? Obviously not my hair. Um, <laughs> so, I just finished watching the final episode of the final se season of Voyager, um, Star Trek Voyager. Um, Heather got it for me for Christmas, as you saw in, uh, I don't know, it was like a couple weeks before Christmas, we exchanged presents, and she got me that. Um, anyways... It was awesome. The whole season was awesome. The whole series is awesome. Um, a lot of people don't like it because um, they're stupid. So, <laughs> whatever. Um, I really enjoyed Voyager. Um, yeah, Endgame, freaking awesome. Um, I'm not sure what my favorite my favorite episode was though. I might it might be the uh, season three episode um, where the Doctor gets his um, holographic thingamabobber. <laughs> Um, I remember I remember watching watching it with my brother um, back in the day. Not not ba not back in the day when it first came on because I was only about seven years old when the episode premiered in 1997. Um, anyways, so um, I I mean I've been watching Voyager. Oh, there's a text. Um, hold on one second. Okay, sorry, my mom wanted me to put dishes away. <laughs> anyways, so I I mean I've been watching Voyager since. Um, about 2000 and, uh, 2005, that summer, um, I bought, like, season one and two, um, but yeah, it's kind of weird, because, I mean, I've been watching it for five years, and, um, um, I, I don't know, I never, I never really felt like the end was in sight until, um, I think, until I was done with season six, I was like, wow, this is almost over, um, I couldn't find season seven anywhere, though, so I was like, hey, maybe, uh, maybe we'll be able to prolong this, for a little while longer, but, um, it's over now, after, after five years of watching Voyager, it's over, and it's, it's a little weird, I really enjoyed Voyager, and I, uh, yeah, so, um, it was a little different with DS9, I watched, <laughs> I watched seasons two through seven of DS9 in, in a, in a single summer, I think I watched season one, like, the previous summer, I don't remember when I watched season one, um, I may have even rewatched it, I'm not sure, maybe I watched the whole series last summer, but, Anyways, um, so yeah, I just, it's just such a good series, and I'm definitely going to miss it. I mean, it's uh, right over there, as you can see, right there, season season 7 on ZN, 7-6-5-4-3-2-1, um, just uh, zoom out a little bit, zoom in a little too much. Um, so, anyways, uh, next, I guess, uh, start buying Enterprise, um... Uh, what I saw, what I what I saw of Enterprise, I liked it. Um, I actually watched a few episodes when it came on. Um, I had band practice when it was premiering though, so I never really got to see any. Um, but what I saw, I liked. Some people didn't like it. They're also stupid. <laughs> I mean, Star Trek is Star Star Trek is like pizza or sex. Even when it's bad, it's still pretty good. So, whatever. Um, well, pizza anyway. I'm still a virgin. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, I, I liked Enterprise, what I saw of it, um, the only Star Trek series I actually saw on TV while it was coming on, so, um, I'm just crossing my fingers for a new Star Trek series this decade, <laughs> I mean, there was a continuous Star Trek series from 1987 to 2005, and there hasn't been a Star Trek series ever since, Enterprise was canceled in, in 2005, so, I really hope that they'll use this new enterprise. I really think, um, as a hardcore fan, I think we all we all knew um, that Star Trek needed need it, it needed a new phase. Um, um, I think they had run its course, the old uh, the old universe. Um, but maybe they'll bring it back. But I actually heard some talk of the uh, um, resurrecting Kirk in the uh, the new timeline. Since in the new timeline things would be different, he wouldn't have died in the Nexus. Sorry if I just ruined Star Trek Generations for you. Um, that's also a good movie. People say it's not good. They're stupid. Anyways, um, this concludes my vlog. I'm gonna go own some people in Modern Warfare 2. See you guys later. Peace. Actually, uh, that's bad. That's bad in Europe. That means F you. Peace. Hello. Um. Ew. <laughs> okay, so I just watched Terminator 2. I know, I'm, I'm like behind on all these, uh, on all these fantastic movies from the days of old. Um, anyway, so I just watched Terminator 2. It's freaking awesome. New poster, by the way, right there. Yeah, right there, my Avatar poster. So, um, anyway, um, the CG I would say is still good. 
um, 19 years later, whatever, um, yeah, it's, I don't know, it was so good, um, uh, that's, uh, I mean, there's really not, that's really not all there is to stay, there's not really all there is, blah, 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 blah. it's three o'clock in the morning, give me a break, <laughs> um, there's not a whole lot to say, um, it's just plain awesome, and I, probably everyone in the whole world has seen it, <laughs> it took me a while to catch up, but, um, everyone knows what I'm talking about, it's freaking awesome, um, anyways, so, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys, um, by the way, Speaking of Star Trek, earlier clips, um, open beta for Star Trek Online starts, uh, today is Sunday's video, it'll be Tuesday, right? Let me check, what's the date? Yeah, tu Tuesday, January, um, 12th, 2010, um, Star Trek open beta begins, so, um, I'm not sure all the details surrounding it, but you guys should totally get in on it if you want to. <laughs> I'm not forcing you to because I'm a nice person. Um, that concludes my vlog. Um, I believe I am contradicting what I said earlier. Goodbye. Oh, wait. Heather has her test tomorrow. Wish her luck. Bye. <laughs>